curriculum plan is for math for homeschooling my multiple grade level children and again I, I feel like it's all fairly simple but just can be complicated to get through in your head sometimes I'm gonna try to show you how I did things here so uh, the main thing that I use as a guide for me to map out what we are doing in math is the app splash math you guys already know how much I love it uh, for me, after the concepts are taught, it's just a lot of practice and real life application. Okay, come on in. This stage. This is the stage. But the bike is not supposed to be in the stage. She's trying to make her stage in the back of my video, you guys. Go ahead, over here. But this. There's gonna be some yummy pie. I'm so excited. And uh, my friends are gonna eat it all with me. I'm so excited. Okay, let's give this a try. So basically, um, what I use for a guide is Splash Mask because that's what we're gonna be using throughout the year. But what I do here is, I feel like almost every app learning or educational app like Splash Math has a scope and sequence type of deal um, where they lay out the curriculum. So I use that. I try to take advantage of that. I started with a review of second grade math and then moved on to third grade math and I just laid it out um, and split it up by the amount of weeks that we were going to be including in our school year. So I just used that as a guide and then put that into my goals. So I started with second grade place value and then I moved on to number sense and addition within 20, subtraction within 20. And that way I know that each week um, this is what we're going to be practicing. And then I use splash math for them to get plenty of practice and any other additional things that I want to use, I throw it in there. For Savannah, she is just going to be doing moose math. She's going to just be doing a lot of practice with mommy. Um, in addition to the app practice, uh, I also found these that I really like. I, I mentioned these before. They're the smiling and shining in the second grade. Um, even though we're moving on to third grade math, I feel like this is really, really good practice to get them to try and complete it in a certain amount of time. So I have these worksheets downloaded. And then I uploaded them using my Notability app and my Dropbox. And so we are going to be getting through one page of this every day. And I'm hoping that she has worksheets like this for third grade too. I'm not sure. I just have the second grade ones. But right now we're just getting through the second grade sheets. So we're also going to be doing that. Then the apps that I have for math are going to be Splash Math, of course. Then I have Moose Math, which is super fun. And two new ones that I'm going to be using are Motion Math Pizza and then Toto Time Telling. So I wanted to have a money app and a time telling app for them to get lots of practice outside of the time that we um, are doing our practice together with money and time. So yeah, I think that is about it. Math is about a lot of practice and I just wanted to have a quick little guide for how we were going to um, make sure that we're getting that practice in. Um, I also, for math, just use a lot of real life application. Uh, I don't know if you watch our vlog channel, but um, I did a vlog a little bit ago where I showed how we were juicing. And when we juice, we do a lot of measurements um, because we measure the amount of juice that we're making. Um, we just try to include a lot, like a boatload of real life application in math. But this is a nice guide to make sure that I'm actually covering um, certain things and getting in a lot of practice and taking advantage of that those real life moments that you could use to help you um, teach and practice as far as math is concerned so anyway this one was short and sweet you guys right <laughs> so um, if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up make sure you check out the other curriculum picks for the other subjects that I've done thus far <laughs> make sure that you're subscribed and I have a few more videos Still to come in this how I plan from start to finish series I guess is what it's called so I will see you guys tomorrow 
in my next video. Bye.